Hey guys and gals, really really quick one here. Uh, if you enjoy it or learn something, then consider liking the video and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding, and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So, um, in playing with the, uh, doing all the grass using just, uh, generator plugins, I decided to give the, uh, the space tree generator, the SCA, uh, generator plug and I try so it's it uh, I don't think it's it was available in um, in daily builds but I don't believe it is anymore and you can download it off the net just look up SCA tree generator um, so it's an actual mesh that it adds not a um, not a curve that you have to that you have to convert now it hasn't been updated in quite a while also but it uh, it worked quite well I was able to come up with this little shrub looking thing with within a few minutes so I'm not gonna go into full details if this kind of thing interests you guys um the grass definitely was getting some attention people seemed interested in that if you guys are interested in little shrub things like this uh, let me know and I'll show you how I made it essentially I just used the SEA tree generator to create one of these little stalks with branches coming off of it as randomized as I could and um, it actually generates a really really crazy node setup but let me see if I can re-add it Yeah, this one right here. So you've got, you can displace or add bump mapping to the bark. You've got the texture, you've got moss you can add, you've got snow you can add, but it wasn't working as advertised. So um, I got rid of everything except for just the basic, just the basic uh, bark texture which is procedural too which is nice if you just see in rendered mode if I zoom in really close you can see how it's procedural but from a distance it looks great and then to make it look shrubby and not just like random stalks of branches sitting in the air um you're able to add leaves on this now I tried doing it with the sapling generator where the leaves weren't really working so well which is a shame because the animation abilities of the sapling add-on is is where the is where the um, the really good stuff comes from I investigated Andrew Price's free stuff that he released and yeah it's essentially it's just um, well, uh, generated. They they were saying they used plugins for 3ds Max to generate a lot of them, but like the grass, for example, uh, I don't have it open anymore. But it's yeah, it's it's essentially just a bunch of meshes over and over and over again, and um, same with his shrubs that the two shrubs, the uh, staghorn and the sweet pepper that he released. They're um, they're just meshes is is all. Um, and then and then you can just place them in the grass same deal it's just a single blade of grass that's placed in an emission same same way i did it just my grass was a bit more um a bit more detailed probably more like his paid models and um however his shrubs had half a million triangles in them faces triangles i can't remember either way it was uh it was really bogging down my system now this one isn't exactly the fastest either but it's still not bad i can more or less preview it in real time at least a single shrub now it's not as dense as his and it definitely doesn't look as nice but i'd say it's still decent quality and i've only spent about a half hour tweaking this about 10 minutes to generate it and get the, the get the material set up and then another half hour to tweak it to get this all looking like this and so yeah basically like i was going to say before i get rambling or got rambling i uh, just generated the single the single trunk if you will with the branches and then i duplicated a few times and rotated around the 3d cursor at the center and just kind of found a good look for it and uh you can see the four duplications uh one two three four and yeah i just rotated them to what i thought looked nice and then it comes with a leaf emission system so it actually emits the leaves so you can adjust how many leaves you have 
and um, so I just duplicated the emission system too so that it uses the same setting for each one however each leaf emission system is an actual separate part so I can adjust where the leaves are in the model while still being able to adjust the number the rotation all the physics stuff like that and so that's where this is kind of nice and at the same time look at the number of polys you know uh 4700 tries 2300 faces versus half a million polys in his in andrew's uh what is it the staghorn sumac tree but um yeah obviously this quality is nowhere near the par of his but um this this is generated too and i think it looks quite fine if you threw that in a scene um it would look pretty good in my opinion especially if you uh if you added some more density for the leaves now as to the actual leaves they're done the the classic old school way let me see if i can do this in rendered mode basically it's just a let me open up the uv slash image editor here The one I'm using right now is this one. So it's just a texture off cgtextures.com, which I can't release. And then uh, there's a bunch more that I found that I thought I'd uh, play with to try to get different results. And this one seems to look the best, but you can see when you zoom in, it still looks great. And these are low resolution textures, but of course you're never gonna have a shrub that close. So they're usually in the distance, so the detail doesn't really matter. But yeah, all you all you gotta do is just uh, change your texture then and you get a different kind of shrub with the same branch system. So again, this is where I'm saying you can, you can create your own collection of, um, I don't have that texture that was supposed to come with the plugin. You can create your own, um, you can create your own folder full of, um, full of shrubs and grass and whatever and just append it into your scenes whenever you need it. I still think that this looks the best. I, I only tested the few. There's there's dozens and dozens and dozens of good um, leaf textures out there and if none fit your needs you can always just go into Photoshop and make one. It's having the alpha is what's very important. We just uh, we take the alpha channel into a transparent shader which we add into the diffuse shader and and um, then we just invert it. Otherwise, you get that. You can see the uh, the alpha portion is around the leaf there. The leaves come in this shape, the black shape. And then you just uh, you use the transparent shader with an invert uh, color node to uh, to get rid of all the black. Well, to get rid of the uh, the to make the alpha channel transparent as it should be. So yeah, you get these little shrubs. So uh, hopefully. Um, Hopefully you guys kind of learned something quickly from that and like I said if you're interested in this I'm gonna play with it some more and uh, see what I can come up with. I posted on my video on um, the uh, creating realistic grass using sat the sapling generator that the video I posted yesterday I uh, I added to the description three links uh, one the, the dot blend from the actual video so the full out rate deal um, and then two more I added uh, the collection of all the different kinds of grass I generated in high poly and low poly versions which is 10k and 2k respectively so so um, there's uh, so the low poly is optimized obviously for um, if you if you wanted to have a ton of it in your scene it's you can have ten times as much for the same render times roughly and um, this this um, SCA generator plugin and looking at Andrew's node setup has given me a lot of ideas for creating procedural. Um, the, the issue I was having with getting the proper colors based on height, it's given me a lot of ideas. Um, looking at Andrew's, his was so complicated. He had to put it in a node group too. It was just crazy. And these are his free ones. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys are interested, I can I can put some more effort into this and maybe release a pack of little shrubs like this. Um, I know the SCA 
generator comes with chestnuts, plums, apples, cherries. So texturing those would be no problem. We could come up with all sorts of neat little things. So yeah, um, let me let me know what you guys think, and uh, we'll go from there. So. Anyways, thanks again for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, consider liking it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I am currently learning C++ for my submarine simulator game. Um, I've decided I might be switching to Unreal Engine 4, so I'm going to be releasing a lot less videos starting in the next couple weeks when I get my book my book order comes in so um yeah i'm gonna be dedicated to learning c plus plus as fast as i can so we'll see how fast i release videos and i've really been putting tips and tricks thursdays off so i apologize for that but i've really run out of blender features to really um show off and then um and then this idea came up and i've been putting all my time into that but anyways um we're on twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page so anyways, if you dislike this video, then just leave a comment or email us at info at blendertech.com so we can improve our videos in the future. Feature, future. So we will see you guys next time. Remember, create your way.